For the Air Max 1 Clots, they seem to have a lot of stock on Haven and also on Livestock, so I did manage to cut 4 pairs and I could quickly unbox one right now. So here's a size 8.5. Alright, so there they are, the Air Max 1 Clots, known as the Kiss of Death. To be honest, it's one of those love or hated shoes and unfortunately, I don't really like these at all. Um, at first, they were kind of cool, but... I guess having them in hand doesn't seem that great to me. Um, that translucent toe box is interesting, but um, I guess it's sort of hard to pull off as well. So most likely I'm going to be selling these. Um, they did break a little, so I might be holding on to them for a little bit longer, but these are definitely not a personal for me. So for my most recent live cop, I did manage to buy another pair of Air Max ones and I'm ready to unbox them right now. Alright, so these are the Air Max 1 Evolution of Icons. Alright, so here's how they look in hand. Um, honestly, it's a pretty nice shoe, but I feel like it's a little too plain, especially around the toe box. It's just pure white. I know all around the heel and there's a lot of accents of different Air Maxes as well. They do have this neat little booklet and it's basically showing where all the inspiration to make um, this shoe came from. To be honest, I think I'm not going to hold on to these. Uh, I'm going to try and sell them because they kind of brick as well. So although it is a nice shoe, um, I'm not going to keep this one for my personal as well. That's pretty much all that came in the mail. I know last week was a little bit slower than usual. Um, apologies for not uploading anything, but there wasn't a lot, a lot of drops to be honest. Last week, Friday, I did manage to cop a Supreme Air Force One in white. I did cop the size 6, which is actually performing pretty well. For the most part, I don't really go for other sizes unless it's kind of like size 6 to size 7.5 because after shipping and duties, it doesn't really turn out to be too profitable. But if you check now on StockX, size 6 is actually doing pretty well. So I should have that delivered by tomorrow or Thursday. It should be in time for the StockX um, half off seller fees. So. Hopefully I could lock that down and uh, ship it out ASAP. And aside from those Supreme Air Force Ones, I did manage to cop the Nike Air Max 90 Bacons. They actually shock drop on Haven and was really surprised. Luckily I was on the computer and I managed to quickly check out my size. So I think those will be delivered next week. And I'm actually looking forward to those. Those are a uh, definite personal for me. And last week, Saturday, we had the Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. Um, I didn't really run too much for it. I did run a slot for a size 11 and a half that I managed to check out on Livestock. And I didn't really try for foot size or anything like that. So today's date is Tuesday, April 13th. And for Canada, we have quite a few releases happening this week. So for tomorrow, we finally have the Yeezy 350 Ash Pearls finally dropping. So that's a 7 a.m. release through foot sites and I believe some Canadian Shopify stores as well. So I'll be trying for base sizes for those because men's sizes don't look like they're performing too well. On Thursday, we have Supreme dropping week. I can't remember what week it is, but 
Drops by Jay recently posted the full drop list, which I have over there. And honestly, it's looking like another brick week. At least some of the tees look all right, but I'm not really gonna bother with those t-shirts because they're not really that great in my opinion. And the rest of the items are a definite pass for me. So most likely passing on Supreme. On Friday on Adidas Canada, we have the Adidas Bad Bunny Forums sneakers and every size looks like a profitable pair but knowing Canada we probably won't get a lot of stock so I'm definitely going to be trying for them but then I'm sure I probably will get an L on that and lastly for Saturday we have the Jordan 1 Hyper Royals releasing and that's across foot size, Shopify size and all that and hopefully we can secure a few pairs um, I'm not sure on how stock numbers are looking right now but if they're anything like the UNCs I released last month, then I might have a good shot of at least copying one or two. At least that's what I'm kind of aiming for. Anything over that is amazing. And we also have the Yeezy 700 Bright Blues releasing. Um, I believe it might be only Yeezy supply for now. I haven't seen other sites confirm, but knowing how I am with Yeezy supply, I might actually I'm most likely going to take an L, but I'm going to try for it. Um, you never know. Uh, we'll see how it goes and that's pretty much the week in kind of preview a lot of stuff happening for canadian sites and Foot locker canada so hopefully we could secure a few pairs here and there i am changing a little bit of my setup each time as i go so hopefully i could hit on something for tomorrow which i'm kind of like testing aycd auto solve and that will give me a good idea of whether or not I could run it for Saturday for the Hyper Royal ones. So until then, I guess I'll see you guys on the next live cop. Peace.